it really is the simplest things. I think it's finishing a song is successful. You know, whatever happens to it, that's totally subjective. Liking anything is subjective, whether it's a sports team or a song or an artist. But I think the success with, with musicians is being able to create something with your friends and just let it live. It doesn't matter as long as one person's locked into it. And that's success to me, is just being able to pass it along and be a part of something greater than ourselves. The three and a half minute pieces of, of sonic art that can change your life and you know have changed the world at times and, it, and I think that to me is the most wonderful part about music. Just really just kind of grew up on this field I mean, and then was fortunate enough to wear the wear the black and white for Xavier for four years playing up here for their, their varsity team and I went on to play college baseball at St. John's University in New York. And then I had an opportunity to play professionally for a couple of years afterward, and it was sort of an injury-plagued couple of years. And at that point in my life, I was so focused on sports that I couldn't get out of my head that I was a baseball player and that's what I had to do. And that was it for me, because that was what I love to do. And I still love it, um, but I'm, I'm pleased that I've, I've uh, kind of moved on a little bit and let that part of my life um, go to an extent. I've always been a fan of music. I've always had guitars laying around the house. Um, but I never really took the time to, I think, chase that. I think I'm gonna open with that tonight. Yeah, that's a great tune. Oh, I like fun. it. I like it. I With these guys, it's really easy because they're just so good. Um, and the sound is very, very different than anything else that's out there. But it's also kind of familiar in a way. It has a feel of something you might have heard, but it's so much better than that. So I think it's going to entice a lot of people to really want to listen. How are we doing, boys? What sparked this whole venture into music is I was sitting around, you know, a lot of my friends had moved away. I had this guitar that my grandmother bought me <laughs> and I would look at it and I would try to figure it out and I'd get frustrated and put it down and then one day it's like you have an epiphany and it's like, holy smokes, I can do this now, I can figure this out. So when you're layering, um, especially using tape, the real instrument thing is really, really important. What if we had like a little, just underneath everything, did some 12 string where it's like. Yeah, man. Acoustic 12 string? You have an acoustic 12 yeah, string? Yeah, we do. Yeah. Would that be cool or yeah. is that too much? Yeah. Just hit record and don't lose the energy. Just play through it. Just play yeah. through. Because we can, you know, if we love it, we'll do something with it, you know? This, this song in itself is kind of my story bouncing around from the north to the south when I was playing baseball and coming home when that ended and trying to figure out, you know, where my place was. And this is one of the first songs I, I think I put pen to paper on. I didn't even know it was what it was. I took it over to Clay's house and we were just playing guitar one night and I played him this song and he goes, did you write that? You know, what? that's awesome. And I'm like, it is? <laughs> yeah, it is. I just, you know, I was just trying to make music. Sounds so 
So that kind of goes into like what we were talking about earlier about what's the plan for us. And it's pretty remarkable how things are just kind of slowly but surely snowballing into something. I mean, this band is bigger than we ever imagined it already. If we do keep writing songs and playing music and, and making the effort, um, you know, I don't see any reason why this can't become something bigger than all of us. Yeah. And then you pass it on and you play it for somebody and they can take what they want from it. And that, to me, is the ultimate like satisfaction and success. I like to think of inspiration as that, like we were talking earlier, late at night and you know you've had your glass of wine or whatever and it just strikes you and you write it down but no sometimes it's hard work it's really hard work and it feels like you're banging your head up against the wall trying to pull this out of my heart or my soul wherever it comes from and force myself to sit down write these songs and, and put them together and everything starts out basically with me on an acoustic guitar and sometimes the words come sometimes the chords come and you add the words later it's there's really no process that I found is my formula, you know, by, by doing it this way, especially in this analog studio, I think you're also kind of paying tribute to those people who came before you in a way. It, it's hard not to like get romantic or emotional about it, you know, because it, it means that much to us and to be able to do it in the way that our heroes did it. When we're, we're like carrying a torch, putting our mark on, on this whole music thing and, and we're just kind of just getting started too, which is really fun. So it's, it's really, uh, kind of blessed, you know, to be able to do this stuff.